On this episode of the Diesel Hammer, I'll be changing the water pump, the thermostat, and doing an engine oil flush. I'll start off by removing the radiator and fan shroud to be able to remove the water pump. To do so, I remove the hoses, then begin to unclamp the radiator and shroud. I then remove the fan by holding the pulley in place and removing the allen bolt on the front of the fan. I then loosen the serpentine belt using an allen key on the tensioner and remove the belt followed by removing the water pump. Unlike the older Mercs, this engine uses a single belt to drive all the ancillaries. In the center of all this, you have a tensioner that consists of a pulley on a moving mount that has a shock and a spring to give the belt constant tension. After that, I move to the side, remove the thermostat housing, and begin cleaning the mating surfaces. This is important to prevent fluid leaks as there could be debris stuck in the metal. I then fit the new water pump with its paper gasket and replace the thermostat housing with a new valve after a bit of cleaning. I seal the thermostat housing using a liquid gasket maker. I refit the pulley, replace the belt back on, and fit the fan. I then proceed with the fan shroud, radiator and then the hoses. After this I replace the coolant and test out the cooling system, checking for leaks. I've been noticing a bit of a ticking noise from the head, so I thought I'd try some of this engine oil flush. It'll get rid of any of the grime in the engine and anything that's sticking. So you use this by um, mixing it with the oil leaving the engine on for about 10 minutes and uh, yeah then draining the oil so i'm trying to get rid of that little ticking sound that's coming from over here hopefully after this process it'll reduce let's see how it goes once the engine is cooled down you can proceed by draining the oil it's got a nut over here for that purpose and the oil capacity of this engine is somewhere around 8 liters so you'll need a big container. Once the oil is all drained, you can replace the nut. Before I put in new oil, I must change the oil filter. This involves removing three bolts, opening the lid and changing the oil filter. I then put in the new oil and check the level a few times as I near the end. The ticking sound has reduced quite a bit. I'll probably have to drive it a bit and see how things free up. In the next video, I'll be covering the servicing of the wiper mechanism.